In a world where otters have duck bills and rabbits breed with deer to create super murder hoppers, where everything is actively trying to kill you, the Iron Wombat does what he can to not fail so hard. And he's not doing well. Strap yourselves in for one wild ride. And welcome to Iron Wombat Gaming. What's up everyone? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Iron Wombat and this is Iron Wombat Gaming coming to you from Sydney in Australia. So as some of you may be aware, you can see on the stream at the moment, I will be jumping on straight to the old um, Guild Wars actually. Guild Wars 2. There we go. Um, first we're going to jump into the good old MMO voice chat on the uh, Discord and whatnot, and we'll see if um, anybody else will be joining us this evening. Okay, whoop, oh, spam came up and it went blown away. Thank you so much, Digital Moderator. I really appreciate it. So, <clears throat> the moment it's downloading a patch, but I'm still trying to figure out where I want to go and which server to be on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, let's get started then, I suppose. See if it'll load. Hopefully, it's not going to ask for too many details. European. All right, Cold Moon. Uh, the hang on one second. Let me just change some things real quick. By the way, I'm in the voice chat too. If you want to jump on, any European server. Oh, okay, that's fine should work i would hope uh, let me um i'm gonna change servers though world select would you can change your world you will get a free will transfer uh no i'm gonna do this okay um it's Stop letting me change world. If you can, you get a free world transfer upon upgrade. If I hit log out here, what will it do? I'll take me back there. Okay. Hit log in. I think I might have a problem with Cold Moon. Okay. Later. Let's hit this and see what happens. Because I've got no characters anywhere now. <clears throat> Come on. Give me something to work with. It set me straight to select a race. I'll just pick any random one then. Skip to end. <coughs> yeah, it's taking me straight to a server that I don't know the name of. Which means I have to upgrade my account. How am I going to do that though? See, look at that. Here's the world that I'm in. Upgrade to full account. Alright, let me check the contacts first, see if anybody added me. Is that you? Hmm. Alright, let me see what happens when I do that. What's gonna ask me for? Give me a sec. Alright, awesome. But I'm stuck on something here now. Oh, hang on a second. There's there's a lot of sound going on at once. Let me just get rid of the music on the game real quick. Sorry about this, guys. It's just a bit, you know, 
Funky at the moment, usually is. Language user interface. Sound options. Music to none. Hey, man. Hey, how are you going? Uh, eh? Yeah. It's going all right. Going all right? <laughs> yeah, I no complain. All right, the music is gone. Okay, that's good. So yeah, turns out I'm set to a US server. Yeah, weird. And it won't let me change realms unless I upgrade the account. Yeah, because <coughs> I could, I could swear that they 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 would like let you they would they would they would give you one free change before you know not being able to. Yeah, change oh again if you have like free account that's how i thought it was but maybe they changed it i don't know that's really annoying and you're not able to change either i'm mean, guessing for the same reason no i can't change because i changed the change the world the for your character couple of days ago. yeah no the world a couple of days ago i transferred my characters another world so now i have to wait five days before you know changing okay. servers or the world i don't want to I, can i change my home world like i picked the wrong one like it won't even let me do that unless i throw money at it if i create a new character will it let me pick the new realm a new server no i won't because you've got to have the server before you create the character so you can create the name hang on um game menu Options. Oh boy. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Do you actually? Do you actually? Uh, you don't have anything on this account. This is like fresh, fresh account. I had like, one character on it. Deleted it because it was at level one because I was testing the character creator. And now it's telling me I need to upgrade my account to change the worlds to change the realms. Which is oh. super shit. So let's have a look. Let's see. If I upgrade to Path do of you, Fire and Heart of Thorns, do do do, do you have multiple emails so you can create an, uh, another account and use that? Oi! Now you're cooking with gas. All right. Um, <laughs> let me just do this. Uh, then when it asks you like straight from the bat, uh, straight from the bat, like uh, when you open yeah. it for the first time for the world, then you select it. All right, I, I like that. I like that idea. Okay, let me just try something else here. Okay. Um, and I mean, you you can basically delete this one because you don't have anything on on this one anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> so. I've got a new keyboard as well too, so relearning how to type. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Alright. I'm not a robot. I'm 18 years old or between other ages. Sure, why not? Alright, well that worked. Let's try this one then. All right. Just in case the world actually ends up mattering in some way, I am in the one that's called Ring of Fire. Just in case. Ring of Fire? Yeah. Let's not quote Johnny Cash here. Oh, why not? Hang on. That work. Oh, crap, sorry. I didn't even verify my email address. And I'm sitting there going, oh, why isn't it working? Like an idiot. Which is wonderful, really. I mean, <laughs> did you ex expect anything less? Ah, here we go. 
use the verify email. <clears throat> All right, successfully verified. On work. All right, that worked. I accept. Okay, then I'm just gonna like. <coughs> I think the world will matter. Yeah, I'm gonna unfriend, unfriend you from from the one. Mhm. Mm uh, wait, where is it? Here we are. What was the realm you said you were on in Europe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. European mega server. Um, which one was it called? Uh, something about fire. Uh, Ring of Fire, yeah. Ring, Ring of Fire. Found it. Ring of Fire. This one? Oh, let me, wait. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seems like it, yeah. Okay. Here we go. In process, high demand may cause uh, longer than expected for your patients. Thank you. What the hell? Uh, you're, you're being, <coughs> you're oh. being transferred. Okay, okay, okay. You just need to relaunch the game. Mm-hmm. On, log in. There we go. Love you later. Play. Let's see if the lag in Europe is as epic as the lag in America for me. <laughs> Alright, what race do I want? Hey, so you're... Uh, can you actually play? Because I saw the game is updating. <laughs> I can, it's playable, he said. Okay. okay. So what do you got? You got a necromancer. What race? You have a charge, you have a... Human, uh, Norn. No, I'm Norn. They're basically <laughs> like Viking type of dude. I see, I see. Well, let me be an animal. You think? I'll be a, a male. Because I don't want to look at a fairy. Okay, here we go. Um, oh god. What do I want to create? They can't be revenants. What the hell's a mesmer? Oh, that's weird. The illusionists. I can make an elementalist. Nah. Necromancer seems to be cool with them. But so does warrior though. We've got passive ability. Melee. They use adrenaline. Hmm. I want to be a guardian. Yeah. What did Silver say he wanted to roll? Uh, what? Did Silver tell you what he wanted to use? Did he tell us? I think uh, he did mention no, it. No, no, no. I... All right. Well, I'm going to be a necromancer, I think, because I like the idea of summoning. Jesus Christ, two necromancers! Oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Eat all this. It's gonna be a. It's Eat... gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> Eat all the zombies, you mother. <laughs> I'm gonna make him, uh, it doesn't look like a necromancer, but my god. But not yet, not yet. Not yet, no. <laughs> Let me just see if anything is running through the shirt or jacket, no. Okay, the fur. No, but what kind of fur do we want him to have? Is he gonna be a tiger? No, we don't want him to be. Yeah, what's, what, what's your username on this one? The same thing, but a different set of numbers that I haven't really looked at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, should have looked at that. Give me a moment. Let me just Let's see. Started with a three. Is all I remember. Oh, that's good for a necromancy. Yeah. Put the the hair color, the main color. Oh, what's bothering me right now? What am I gonna do? Okay, armor dies. Oh, right! His face! Jesus! That's, That's terrifying. Kill. Nah, he's gonna be all... Purple and... No, but the... Colors are usually greenish anyway with the necromancer. Look, I'll get the color dyes as is for now and I'll change them as it goes along, I think. But his fur color yeah. is bothering me. Well, no, yeah, no, by the way, you don't have. Yep. 
you don't have you don't have to worry about the face. You can just you know re remove it when you're when you start playing. That's just like some starting stuff. Starting uh, like skin. <clears throat> I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. 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 Yeah, link, uh, link, armor dice, hit options, body features. I just want to change the color of his fur. Like, I got a. Ah, that's better. There we go. He kind of looks like an unwashed necromancer. Yeah, I like that. I like that look. With the um, skull face mask as well, too. The necromancer's know, companion is death. In acknowledgement of this, I mark my face with a symbol of a. Ghostly Wraith, which is energy, cunning helps elude enemies. Nope. Oh, that's it. That's the money shot right there. The skull. Then if I go demon, looks oh God. doesn't look work. This one, this one makes the most sense to me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, skull is. Skull is. This is this love a skull. Our traditions of the necromancers <laughs> have gone before me. I bite my face with the symbol of this to remind. Okay. Trouble may follow me, but I use my charm, dignity, or ferocity. Dignity is supposed to be very intelligent and convincing. So we've got dignity or ferocity. I don't know. What do you reckon? Uh, I mean, At best I know what to say to lighten the mood or bolster courage. No, that's weird. Dignified, um, dignity the mud. Makes people respect me, a serious and thoughtful demeanor is the route to success. Precious threatening violence gets me further than anything else. No, I think dignity makes the most sense for Necromancer. Because <clears throat> they're not very jokey. If that makes sense. Even though you're dealing with the dead, no, nah, ferocity makes the most sense. There we go. He's also a char, so I, I can't imagine. Yeah, I, I, I went with logic. I went with logic like uh, mm. if you're gonna have a creepy evil evil looking possibly actual evil character then yeah. going with, with going with the charm should mm. should make him you know like even more terrifying gotcha so, okay let's have a look here you've got the iron legion which they make the war machines ash legion mm -hmm. is the st stealthy ones and the blood legion charge on in the battle <laughs> i can't imagine necromancer being too stealthy you know, like stealthy in the village, like no one knows who he is. But when he's in battle, like you gotta know there's a necromancer there. When he lifts up his hands, says something in a foreign language, and then you know the undead just yeet themselves out of the earth and then launch themselves towards you. So I'm gonna go with Blood Legion. I would love to my more band, especially um, this person, my sparring partner, Maverick. Nope, single person combat. <coughs> Stubborn, bad tempered. Um, Laws for lazy talking. Should we come up with an assassin? Dinky. The Guardian. And Reva. Oh no. Supposed to be another rogue of some kind. I think having a guardian as this one for the beginning time being would make a good friend. All right. They tell me the soldier that side served me is a beside me was a loyal soldier, sorcerer, a shaman, or an honorless gladium. Oh, warband. My father turned his back on his. Now he's an honest list gladium, honorous gladium, with no respect for the chain of command, and I have no respect for him. Ooh. Flame Legion shamans once enslaved us. Because of this, my father, who is a shaman, is treated with suspicion and mistrust. I must overcome his reputation or a loyal soldier. What do you reckon? I'm making sorcerer a shaman. You know, like he's trying to clear his name even though he's a necromancer it, like the whole not all shamans or not all necromancers kind of deal yeah 
Yeah, probably that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that actually. That Last thing. Actually, would make sense. Yeah. What kind of name should I give him? I have no idea. Just, just, just be innovative because One pretty much everything is taken. There we go. <laughs> if anybody has this name, I will heat myself into the sun. Especially in Europe, the chances are of somebody having Wombergicus as a name for their character are very slim. So here we go. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Are you seeing this? Yep. Alright. Uh, yeah, try, try, uh, try. Uh, full name and last name, that's what you, I usually do. Oh, you do a full name and last name? Yeah. From Berticus Jeeves. Wait, you can do a first and last name? I mean, you, you, you can just... Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you should be able to, like, do... Oh, it makes me like a gladiator. First name. What, what name do we give him that sounds dark and so so wombat related? Signed. Um. <clears throat> there you go, Ferrum. Let's put down Ferrum, see what that gets me. Nope. Oh boy, here we go. How about that, eh? <laughs> no, it's too, it's too adultish. Oh man, I can't think of something. Hmm. Sign. This is dumb. I'm gonna put this there. Wait, can you change your name later on? Oh. Nope. Okay, so what you got is that you start with. Yeah, this is your character name. I mean, maybe you you, you can if you, if you, if you buy like the name change from from the store. Oh, for no, your I'm, not, I'm trying not to throw too <laughs> much money at this game yeah. right now. But even, even, <laughs> I'm not sure if even that is like uh, an option. Let's try this. Because uh, I, yeah, because I haven't seen it. Hang on. There we go. As we are. How is that already in use? There we go. Bang. As we add. Oh, here we go. Hang on, let's put the music. I am a char. Ooh, look at this. In this world of constant battle, I am the deadliest weapon of all. Oh, damn. I respect no authority but the clenched fist of my legion. Oh, boy. With engines of destruction. We have killed our gods. Killed we gods. reclaimed our homeland of Ascalon, and we planted victory banners on the graves of our enemies. Yet, if we waver, it could slip through our claws. <clears throat> victory, at any cost. This is intense. The Blood Legion is my mother. The Blood Legion is my father. We char are okay. born into battle. We live on the fields of war. And I, I will die fighting. I'm a soldier, a ground pounder, frontline infantry. I face the enemy head on. Okay. I've earned the respect of my comrades and forged alliances I can call on in time of need. I'm the only necromancer in Blood Legion, but look at things. In the Blood Legion, we're taught the meaning of the word duty. We are relentless. I guess it makes sense of a necromancer Today, to the battle. Today, the soldiers of the Black Citadel assault the ghosts that plague <laughs> this land. 
Hmm. I've been assigned to reinforce the Bulwark. Okay. Let the Ash Legion strike from the shadows. Let the Iron Legion build its machines of war. I will not stop fighting until the only thing left standing on the field of battle is me. This is my story. All right. There you go. That was a cool intro. What's up? Hey, hey. Silver. Hey, lads. How you doing? Yeah, bro. So we encountered a little difficulty earlier on as we jumped on. Yeah, a bit of bit te technical difficulties. Apparently, what happened? Well, basically, on the free version, whatever server you picked in the beginning is the one you're stuck with until you pay for the game. Yeah, right. And Cold Moon can't really jump into the American servers for whatever reason, so I'm just onto the European server, right? Yeah, I had to yeah, create I a can. new email address. All right. Yeah. You can use an alias, <laughs> which is um, mm. random. Oh, I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't like change the to to American because I switched the world a few days ago, so it's on cooldown currently. Ah, oh, I wonder if I can. I mean, I can. Let's see what I can do again. Well, yeah. Sucks. Basically, we're in the Johnny Cash server. Oh yeah. Ring, yeah, Ring of Fire. There we go. Yep. Let's. I had to explain the joke. Um. Yep. All right. Let's have a look. So I got in a necromancer because I couldn't avoid being a summoner. Oh, it costs some. Um, I think you create gems. What does? The transfer. Jesus. <laughs> Way too much. Can you not create a new character in another world? No. Because you're. I can guest though. Hang on. What does that do? Yeah, yeah. You, you can guess, yeah. Uh, I think it basically mechanically oh, is the no. same thing, it is just for the 24 hours. Yeah, but I can only guess in worlds in my home territory, so I don't be able to guess in other America ones. Ah. Uh, See. So you can't guess, so you can't guess like in European server. Well, world. No, won't let me. Well, that's shit. Yeah, I yeah. literally just used another email address and started from um, a different server. My, my old email, the original email address that I had, I've forgotten all the password details and things like that, so I couldn't even log in to pick up where I left off. Oh, Wombat, what, what's your username so I can oh, add crap. you? How like, do I find on, that from on... here? I gotta... Uh... It should be... It should be out. like uh, the icon on, on the top left. The, like... Top of, uh, which three, one? Three, 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 three like... Uh, Three-headed, like... Oh yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Iron Space Wombat dot three five two eight. Wait, what? Iron uh, Wombat with the space between Iron and Wombat dot yeah. three five two eight. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, guys. All well, the sniffles have gone. Mostly, the cough still remains. Silver, is the Miso joining us tonight? Uh, well, we're probably going to have a bit of trouble getting on if we're all in Europe at this stage. Like, I'm in. Like, I'm literally in. It took me no time except to just have a different email address for the account for Europe, another one for America. Yeah. So I can jump between two worlds. But, but I lose my account. <laughs> I have a different account if I do that. You can always sign back into the other account, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're making it sound harder than it really is, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like yeah, what if I wanted, yeah, but like, what if I wanted to use one of my other characters? I just can't. I guess so. Mm. Yeah. This could be an on-stream playthrough, though. Yeah, I suppose. Um... Would I just start leveling up now? While well, I'm waiting for you guys to... Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Just in time, soldier. The ghost armies have been bashing the gate for weeks. They've finally broken through. Fight your way to the front and report to Centurion Kriskknife. For orders. Kriskknife? What a name. Or maybe it's Chris Knife. Or maybe I'm not supposed to pronounce the K. 
Okay. Is this a great somebody? Hello. Hello. Rely on iron, not false gods. Hey. Okay. Over here. All right, you with the voice, Reva. In order to join the front. Lucky. You always get the fun jobs. Maybe I always get the fun this jobs because I'm a day. summoner of undead. You to pay attention to me. Is your net being funny today? My net? What do you mean? Uh, it's kind of all. It's kind of all crackly. Crackly, catchery, uppery. Yeah. Let me check. Do you think the same thing, Cold Moon? <coughs> what? My net's all crackly or something, maybe? Uh, I can hear you normally. Interesting. Is it my net that's crackly? Because you're coming through mad clear, hey. Alright, here we go. Put the volume down here. Hey, hon. Oh, oh, ah. Win big so we can brag. Leave it to you. It's okay. So that was Maverick. Fight my way to the front, eh? I sent you an invite for for the party. Ooh, nice. Let me do this. Your help, this soldier. Yes, okay. Tribune Brimstone has ordered me to the crypt. To turn up to make it. Okay. What's so important that the Blood Legion Tribune is there? Ghost Trip. Duke Barrett is far more powerful than we thought. His army just broke through our defenses. There's a ghost, Ritlock's eh? about to fight him head on. If he succeeds, it'll be weeks before the ghost reforms, and we can rebuild our perimeter. On my way. I thought he had a face mask. Oh well. Send me an invite. Ah, there we go. And that's... Hang on. What's your character's name? Oh, there we go. Monato Ball. Ah, clever. I like that. I know exactly what you did there, Cold Moon, with the name. Do you? Yeah. Um, balls were um, in the um, Old Testament and Cold Art. The balls were gods that were worshipped by. Um, rival tribes and they had very dark origins like you yeah, actually actually don't know that and no that's not for the detail oh really <laughs> no well, there you go i thought you <laughs> well you stumbled across something very sinister <laughs> if you but, ever... yeah what, what what i was like aiming for was uh since i played Tabletops. Yeah. In the, in the lore, in one of the tabletops, there's a like a founder hey, of one of the. Well, I wouldn't be able to. I can't call them like classes. Right. Have, but it's, it's more like a client bloodline. So one of one of the founder of one of the bloodlines is already called Montan. And. The bow is just, you know, there's another bloodline that's also like called Bali, which are kind of like demon worshippers. Yeah. Type of deal. So. But often, like in the uh, um, Bible, they would, um, or even the Torah, they would akin um, Baal to the devil. Right? And the word that was yeah, used yeah. for that, um, I mean, Arabic is say Shaitan, it means, it just means enemy. Satan means enemy, that's where it comes from. At least from my texts and my understanding of the theology where it comes from. You know what I mean? But it works out well, because yeah, yeah. it actually matches in those laws. Alright, got a harder position now. But I could also be a little bit wrong, it's been years since I did any sort of biblical theology. Alright, like years, years. Alright, we're in here. Join up with Ritlock and Brimstone's unit. Okay. I'm gonna throw my invisible claw at this guy. So I can't teleport to you on one turn with a big kill. Stop. Oh, welcome to it. Oh, hang on. Rely on iron, not false gods. Just running through. I'm gonna join with Ritlock, Brimstone, and his unit. I'm in a crypt. There's a friggin' rat. I, I knew you would make a chunk. Knew it. Called it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, look, I wasn't going to make a human, 
I was, um, Hogman's already got a Norn. I'm gonna be Norn. Yeah. And I figure a Chow would be alright. I'm so, look, let's be honest, I know who I am, I'm predictable. I always go for the edgiest looking thing. <laughs> I can't help it, I'm drawn to it. It's gonna be like a. So you did Necro as well, didn't you? Yeah, how did you know? <laughs> See what I mean? I, I said this to my wife, I said he's gonna make a chart necromancer. Yeah, <laughs> she's right, look. And uh, I was right. I know I don't dress the same. I'm. I try not. I'm not really like as edgy outside of con. You know, outside of these games. But when I go into a game, that's where I can unleash the edge. The edge, but the edge is there. Edge is there. It's, it's within me. It's who I am as a person. I grew up listening to heavy metal. I played in heavy metal bands. Our stick was be edgy as hell. And even though we knew in our hearts it was lame, I, I, I couldn't help it. And where I am now, you know, I'm happy with who I am outside of the gaming world, but when I play a game, it's coming to life. The edge is unleashed. It's, the edge yeah. is unleashed. I mean, look, the two classes that I played uh, when I was playing World of Warcraft, where uh, um, Wrath of the Ching came out, were a freaking Warlock and a Death Knight. Right? I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> yeah, so... And when I was like, I could go a paladin or I like the idea of an anti-hero. I'm drawn more to that these days, but I'm still making a guy. Oh, wait on. It's happening. sharp in this one. It's very sharp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very sharp. I dig it. I like that. I like that very much. Um, yeah. Oh, what's happening? Oh, it's supposed to attack this? Oh no, it came alive! That's why the ghost was kicking their ass, because the duke is possessing this thing. <coughs> oh damn, we nailed them. Oh, he cast fear right away. Right away! You tell me to get off your land. It was our land first. This is... Oh boy. I'm starting to see very... Um... Obvious... Correlations to real life. I didn't get it. Oh, I don't know. Don't worry. Anyway. So... I'm not sure I feel comfortable playing Civilization anymore. What? You know... <laughs> okay, I enjoy playing the game, don't get me wrong, but I've suddenly found myself in my most recent game, I don't know if you've seen the VOD, in um, a conversion war between Saladin, Saladin, sorry I keep forgetting, between Saladin and myself, I picked John Curtin, right, in Civ 6, and so, I've never seen the complete 6, oh, so, I, think, I don't know if religion was a, a thing in um, Civ 5, but in Civ 6 it is. And it's yeah, one of the ways, you, it's one of the, you know how it's one of the ways you can win the game. I heard what you did down in that crypt, so But he keeps sending impressive. missionaries to convert my whole Tribute town, and I'm finding shot. it very uncomfortable that the way to stop him from doing that is to go to war with him. Part of the team that took down <laughs> yeah. the oh, well. Smoke said it's safe. I know. And you it helped is. make it that way. So, you are still on edge next stream on Civ is going to be fun. They saw someone like you making the rounds. Yeah. The quicker we get this place <clears throat> squared away, the sooner the Legion can get back to business. You can help. I'd rather have volunteers. But if I have to issue an order, I will. No one again. Uh, that won't be necessary. Oh, I just use one of my existing I email aliases. Goes to the same address. <coughs> Couldn't even make a new email. Ah, that's clever. Uh, yeah, but it's a complicated way. You know, I look as much as I know about computers, but I'd like to say that I specialize more in hardware than software. It's really easy to do that because hardware is very straightforward. But when it comes to it's straightforward, but uh, holy shit, if you're doing it in scale, oh I've been doing God. it all day today. Pain in the ass, right? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just well, I maintain hardware for a couple of places as well as um mm. do software stuff. Oh man. 
Here we go. Speak to this guy to reveal new renowned arts. Content guide points to nearby events. Renowned hearts, scouts, and unexplored areas. Check. Okay. So. Is that. Oh, that's a compass. Oh, neat. A weird looking compass. Oh, hang on. I figured it out. I'm pointing north. It's hey, going to where I need to go. Oh. To me. Ran right past her. Okay, here we go. Smokestead lies outside the Black Citadel on land we take out back of memories. Land. It's our base of operations for further expansion oh, into this region. We're pressing east and north, facing resistance She's from the Plain Legion. points in the map where I can get quests and fill up the hearts, I think. The Legions need every soldier <coughs> to do his or her part. Yeah, have you played this before? I played this... Actually, Sylvie, you'd be surprised to know I played it when it first came out. Uh-oh. Yeah, you um, and my mates all influenced me to play it, but you told As me about it. Um, but I don't think I think we lost um, we lost First contact with each other a few years ago when it when it first came out. I can't remember, but we were yeah, we were still talking on um on on Facebook and that stuff. Um, but all my mates jumped on and I think no, that's right, we were playing at different times. But then yeah, I was I was annoyed because all my mates stopped playing it and I kept playing it, <laughs> and I lost all my old account details. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. So we got. Oh, it's got all the expansions in the bottom right. Oh, just above the map that I can click on. If I want to buy it. <coughs> oh, it's letting me know which expansions I can get. So I'm, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yeah, it's sleeping. Yeah, just play the normal one for now. Level 2 rewards. Hero panel. Oh, just tell me what I, I got. Okay. New profession skill unlocked at level 5. Fine equipment. Personal story unlocked and 5 hero points. Personal story? Ooh. Okay, let me have a look at this guy. He's got the face mask on. This is what bothers me right now. This game is fun, it's fluid. I like the way the storyline works. But you know the, 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 um, the skull um, face paint that's on my, my necromancer? Yeah. It disappears during cutscenes. Oh, it's because it looks dumb. It really hey, does. Come talk to me. <laughs> but it was the least dumb out of the three I had to choose from. <laughs> so... Yeah, the Necro ones are a bit average. Yeah, I know. Uh, so I suppose I have to do the tutorial thing, don't I? Yep, you got to eat shit like I did. What the hell? Are you following me on your magic I've carpet? Done this. I've done this a hundred times. Oh. You don't know. No, I, I, I think I got it at some point. Oh no, none of my vines exist because it's a different. It's, it's, just, it's just a cosme cosmetic thing that replaces your like movement. Oh well. Oh, I got ya. What do I have to do? I have to squish spiders and their eggs, clean up webs, flatten worm mounds, and fill troughs with hay. Yeah, you're basically a tradie. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, you are actually. You're a tradie. Where's, where's, the my, damn minute board? where's my high high vest shirt? High vest um vest. It's pretty cool to die in the front colour. Hey, there's a spider here. Whoa, Jesus, what happened to that spider? What are you doing with your magic? Oh my gosh. Oh dude. Where are you um why well, let me kill that worm hatchling then. Hey, it's spider, eh? You got this. Bone thing. Oh man. That looks so cool. Yeah, this is my army. Army of minions. Oh man. Look at that. In, in Guild Wars 1, you had to maintain your min minions or they died. Oh god. That sounds horrible. It sounds but they like. Were much more, they were much more. Um, they were much more. It's like. Uh, well, they were really—they were very powerful because you could buff them and all the stuff. That you did. But they're more expendable, so like some of them you wanted to die because you put like death, death bomb, explosion -y enchantments on mm, them and stuff like that. Yeah. Death Nova, which probably still exists. Well, yeah, there, there, there are a couple here that actually like straight up explode if you sacrifice them. 
Yeah, it's the same thing. Most much. of the skills actually, yeah. it, most of the skill names they took from Guild Wars One. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, that course has been handed check in. This, check, check this shit out. Wait, where are you? Check this. <laughs> check this out. Oh my god. Come on, come on. You got the flesh one, I presume. Oh yeah. Look at that scythe. Holy crap. But you're an actual figment of death. The yeah, actual reaper. 100%. Now we just need to get that emissary flag yeah, that's up. The, um, that's, that's the melee class for them, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's a uh, like reaper class. Yeah, but they, they, they specialize mostly in melee, I think, in mm. memory. I didn't actually play when they existed. I, I actually haven't explored that one completely. Like, I, I'm, I'm not even like one third of like. <sighs> when done. do I get to summon my first oh, undead? Okay. He's filling up their stuff. Right. This is the way. Oh, that's right. I forgot this you can run with chip. This is the. Way. <laughs> I like it. Defeat flame legion and deactivate unexploded water shells. <coughs> All right, um, I think it's around this way. Hey, yo, how you doing? I don't think that was them. I think that was just the bugs. Get the flame region of those um, dickheads with the flame swords, maybe. So, let me just get you out of the way. Is that a dragon? That's a raptor. Okay. Well, you just killed them all. I think you did everything in one sweep. Sweep? Swoop. Alright, now we gotta help uh, Bodgeweld run the armory. Let me just see if there's any items there. Uh, Oi! Oh, you wanna throw down, do ya? There we go. Piss on me. More like, piss on me. Alright, let's move. Hang on. Level 3 reward. Accept. No, I don't want this. I want to help them. I want to go to the um. I'll remember that one. I know, it's just we've got to defeat Flame Legion in this spot. Are these Flame Legion? No, they're Iron Legion. Oh, maybe we've got to delete, defeat. Destroy this, maybe. Okay. Oh, he's on exploded mortar shell. Ah, there we go. What was he doing there? When the mortar shell exploded and he just manifested underneath it? What sorcery is that? You know what it is? It's not necromancy, that's for sure. Maybe a bone spider and your flesh beasts. Can you choose what kind of, um... Undead you summon, or is it like set with each class? Uh, huh? It's I mean, based on the skill you choose. Oh, okay. They're just skills, yeah. Like each each summon is skill on its own, so you can just swap them which one you want. Yeah, if it was one, you actually needed a, a corpse, an un unexploited corpse, to um, summon. Oh, yeah. sorry, unexploited corpse. Yes, you had to exploit the dead. Oh wow. But you could have like heaps. But they were all slowly dying, and the longer they're alive, the faster they die. Um, oh wow. But you could buff them and you can make them explode and all that junk. Certainly feel like um, the pet system in WoW before they um, got rid of feeding your pet to give it keep it happy um, was not as challenging. Hmm? <laughs> well, but I don't play pet classes. Can't stand right. it. So, the reason why I, I I started as a hunter when I used to play the game, right? Um, and one of the mechanics was, you know, you had to have your own quiver. You know, you you had your own, um, you know, oh, I remember uh, the ammo. ammo and things <laughs> like that. But what um, some people don't remember, and I remember very well, uh, except for people that are playing. Um, well, classic now is that your hunter had to feed the pet 
consistently to keep it happy. Oh my god, that is so cool. That is a uh, non non uh, non race yeah no no non race ability. Nice. Yeah. So any non will be able to do it. So what's the race ability <laughs> for the star? I have no I idea actually. I can't remember the actually what they are. I think they. Can... Oh, gosh, yeah, I can't remember. Oh, but anyway. So, I've only got one chart. I don't actually play them very much. But yeah. So what you you had to do to keep the pet happy was feed it, and if you kept it max full full belly, it would do double damage. But if you don't feed it, eventually the pet will rebel against you and leave you. You have to either fight it or retame it or, or kill it. Oh, I don't remember that. But I, never I do. Played that stupid class. I remember that very well. Oh wow, a high level engineer just came in to save the day. There's the only things that I'm destroying at level one. Wow, nice. what a big flex. <laughs> okay. Let's auto attack while I look at things. Oh, hey, hyena. Yeah, it is auto attack. You can control right click whatever you want to be your auto attack. It usually makes sense to just have it as the first, the first one. one. Yeah. I don't think I'm supposed to be killing the hyenas. I think it's just flame legion. I need one more flame legion douchebag. Or a mortar shell or something. Hey, what are you doing? One. Flames will not. One of these guys. Okay, that's not gonna work. Come on, I need one more of those things. Oh, there's a mortar Excuse shell right there. This game is way too easy. Um, I accidentally had three things attacking me before the game. Didn't even get to pop. Which class were you playing? Guardian. That's it's explains some, it. He's got his uh, mighty, intended mighty gloves. How do I equip him? Double click him? Uh, how do you equip what? Gloves and stuff. I have been on my inventory because I got some. Uh, <coughs> okay. Probably has a required level. If it. if if it's if it's uh, anything above just you know light armor, you can't. Oh. They're level five. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Necros can only wear light armor. Yeah. So you gotta make sure you pick a light. All right, that quest I, is done. Uh, I can't go over there until I'm level ten. That's a bit drag. Okay. Um, I mean, it's it's it just stay like which type of armor or equipment is usable for your current class. Yeah. Alright, uh, it's, it's taking me this way now. Oh, this is the way. Oh, oi! You want to throw it down, Flame Legion Jerk Wad? Hey, that's what I thought. Oh boy. I thought he picked the fight with a hyena. Is that a jack? Is that a jack? Is that a jack? Wait, what are you doing that for? Uh, this way. <coughs> New event nearby. No, no. I'm gonna have to change these blinds, it's driving me crazy. Defense. Great, prevent the theft of cannonballs. Uh, cannons. Oh boy, here we go. I learned a skill, Unholy Feast. People nearby foes will convert their boons into conditions. Release the unholy burst on foes and health in the threshold. Okay. So you uh, eat feast in the area, then you burst. So you eat all this stuff and you explode. Oh, that's so creepy. We're going to feed some scrits, do we? I always feel bad fighting scrit. Why? They're so cute. 
Okay, so what am I supposed to be killing here? Feet squid, prevent the theft of cannonballs, fire cannons, and collect devour eggs. I think I might be in the wrong spot. Oh, there's a squid. Okay, so that one got pummeled. Got an enchanted chest piece. Oh, well, he's killed everything before I had a chance to suck the life out of them. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Wait, are there more down here? Where is it? Where it M? No, I think it's still back this way, man. Oh, and down he goes. It's here, down below. The event, if, if you mean the event. Or... I was talking about the quest, but we'll do the event together, why not? Uh, I think we're gonna talk to see. this group guy. Hey, scoop up Victory at any cost. Not me. Okay. Cool. Alright, so what are we doing with this? So your pet is just know. an undead lash tail. It just Varys, yeah, get double nightmares. <laughs> charge anything. Excuse me. Thank you, honey. Some eggs, take them. Need to help the legions. So what happens with this? What do I get levels or speed from events? Events are great. Lift with your legs. You also get karma, which is like a. Sort of I mean, you literally get karma from from everything. everything. Same with XP. Yeah. But um, event, uh, events are one of the best ways to get karma at least. Oh, okay. Karma's used for a number of things. Mm-hmm. Well, one second. Okay. okay. How do I do I activate the lure or Because mine's at max now. You need to wait for the event to complete. Oh, okay. I get you. Pay attention. What you are watching is the proper technique for gathering eggs. 
some events are, are a big long chain of events. Um, you can alter certain things. Oh yeah. Like make a certain vendor appear for a certain amount of time, and sometimes they're like to and fro, like capture, oh, right. capture do it. objectives and lose objectives type events. It just depends on the map. Oh, I got you. I see what you mean. Oh, oh, some of them are just one offs. Cool. Boss. More boss spawned. A boss spawned. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. Alright, here we go. Come on. I'm gonna kill it before. <laughs> before you. Oh, oh, I got something there. Okay. It says here learn how to dodge. Yeah, I wanna say that everyone in the streams. Hmm? What? Well, well, I'm saying. All my streams, look at the dodge. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm like young Gohan every time he, a fight happens. Does not dodge. This is why ankle biters. Okay. Your normal devourer will eat just about anything. That's why you need to train it properly, or it'll eat you. I miss the retaliation. A moment's silence. Will eat and poison just about right. anything. Doubly so if they're angry. And the moment is up. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. Uh, any chance I could buy some of these eggs from you? No, I don't want these eggs. Alright, I'm gonna want to do that quest which is up this way, I'm guessing. Hang on, have I done everything? There's two more hearts I have to fill, I think. At, um... No, or is it this way? Ah, here we go. I've gone back under the bridge. <coughs> I know the way. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, what's hitting me? Oh, you. Special, yeah, um, I have training. to level up to level 10 before I can leave this area though. Oh, okay. Uh. I'm level 4 now. So let's move as quickly as we can. Make Britus discovered. Where are you guys? Something that I want. Okay. So how do you dodge? Uh, you can double cloak. tap. I usually, I bound it to, like, oh. a mouse button. Double tag it in any direction and it works. I retain the awesome. Yep. Did this guy say, I retain the awesome? Yeah. <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah, I don't know. Yep, learn to dodge. The health. I only dodged twice. But you gotta get out of there. Mm -hmm. And um, what's it say here? Protect the fisher folk from the drakes. Clean up time, fix broken traps around the lake. Oh, like, okay. So we're gonna kill these drakes, I'm guessing. <laughs>
That was a tough one. Oh, I'm coming out of the water. Okay, I got it. I feel so cool. I don't know. Okay, um. What else am I supposed to be doing this way? Alright, well, let's fight. Come on. Yep, killing all these. Oh things. yeah. Yep. Bomba tips. Uh, if you if you want like three levels, I have a couple of knowledge tomes, and I think you I can send send them to you. Knowledge tome. Yeah, yeah it's basically three levels. You know, time saver. That you can get Is that a rank handy? Playing. No. Wait, let me actually see. Because if it's a <coughs> compound, I can I can send it. Hmm. Surely you can't give it to people. I've, I've never actually tried that, and I ended up throwing this. I had, I had hundreds of those. <laughs> I mean, they're used for something else, like a currency. Yeah. Well, for that player. Maybe, maybe they weren't back when I did it. I was just like, I don't need these anymore. We'll get out of here. Maybe. Level 5 now. <coughs> Nearly level 5. Now we got our help. The Terra, nope. Painstorm, fight the Flame Legion now. <coughs> yeah, no, I I can't send it. It's a compound. Ah, oh, well, shit. it's all right. I'm level six, five already. Wait, from level five, there's weapons I can equip or armor and stuff. So I can put. Uh, ooh. I can choose between. Duty bound braces, homespun mittens, or ragamuffin. It's gonna be light armor, so it's gonna be the homespun mittens. And then this one here. Um, homespun garb. And this one here. It'll be the homespun hood. Armor booster. So I'm gonna equip the hood. Equip the robes. Equip the gloves. I have the pants look ridiculous. So equip the little bag, the slot. And hey, I got a new hatchet. I'll equip that. Skull mask. Oh, I don't have it anymore because I replaced it with the, the hood. How do I look? I look somehow worse. Okay, um. I guess we gotta disable the. Oh, and then fight these guys. How ridiculous I look. Have a look. It looked like. Uh, what? Looks like I. Um, I these are all the clothes I had left after the washing. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> Oi, I mean, look, you, 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 can, you can change the color. I can? No, I think just, I'm just gonna yeah, yeah, you, yeah, it's just just a manually. As well. uh, no, yeah. color change doesn't, doesn't consume your like, transmutation charges. No, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying there is a transmute one as well. Oh. <laughs> So you can yeah. just make your armor look like whatever the hell you want. So how do I adjust it color-wise with the die organized? No, uh, you gotta... I forget. It's in... I think you press H. Yeah, so you go to like... Hero panel and it should be like... Uh... 
dies, I think. Hero yeah. Panel. How do you press the hero panel? H. H. Oh, I got it dies. Equipment. Wow, this is different. <laughs> this feature will unlock at level six. I have to wait till level six before I can adjust the dies on my on my gear. What the heck is this? I don't know why they would gate that function. Why would they gate being able to die your armor? <laughs> Putting your life force into hell. I've got a spectral form now. I can do Doom, Dark Path, and Life Blast. Oh yeah. That's really I really like the um necro the necro uh, class skill. Oh, okay. It's a second health bar as well, by the way. I see. <laughs> Uh, those will cover over time. I'll have to look at it next time. I uh, next want to get my health back up on it. Before I attack at the summer body. Rise, man. And foul the waters of this lake. Show them the power of Bale Fire. Oh, there's a there's somebody that's summoning. Oh, there's a boss here. Tobu? Yeah, I don't see anything. I oh no, there's just somebody that boss. said Oh, it's Champion of Flame Legion Shaman. Never mind. Yeah. Where? Hang on. There's tar everywhere. We've also got elementals emerging from the tar. You too. Follow me. Okay, I'm gonna go back up this way. Oh, new event nearby. Alright. So much cooler. I like that. Will you venture into the realm of death? Yeah, it's really cool. I remember making a build that made the the, the one spam in, in, in Death Shroud or it's called. Just absolutely annihilate everything. It was really cool. Right. Because I think when you kill things, you, you, that little bar, green bar, goes up. I think so. I don't know what's going on. Not when you're in, in the shroud. Oh, but there are abilities you're, you're in you're the out. shroud. That... Oh, you mean like the F1 of the like... shroud bar? Yeah. 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 I mean, it depends on what, what you pick, yeah. Some skills just give you still life and to recharge the shroud thing. Some get, uh, give, you, give you a shroud. Yeah. On, only on kills and stuff, like it, it depends how, how you build your supplementers. But yeah, while you shroud all of your uh, damage, incoming damage is blocked. You it's literally not. cannot. No, it is. You literally cannot take damage while in shroud. What? Yeah. That new... It used to be a second health bar. Well, it kind of works no. like that in that your health, the health keeps going down while you're using it, so it's time. So you can be in that form for yeah, yeah, it's time. But uh, at least when I played, if you took damage, it would come out of the shroud bar as well. Unless they changed that so you could actually get some decent time out of death shroud. Possible? No, yeah. like you, one more you're complete. Bar, you're complete into damage while in shroud that's why it, but that's why it, like necromancer is a god class especially in yeah but the damage would reduce the shroud sure. mm, i don't think i don't know it. <coughs> it didn't right. look like that when I used it, to be honest. Do it next time. When you walk up to something and let it hit you, honestly, it goes down fast. Alright, we'll do that then. I don't, I, I don't think it, 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 it does, like, reduce the, the, shroud, the shroud, like, It used to. <laughs> it 100% used to. Oh, yeah. uh, but you use, you use your skills, like, that are, like, shroud explosive skills. Nah, no, it's just time. No, you're not taking damage, though. Yeah. You can't test it if you don't take damage. Oh yeah. All right. Well, these mines will cause damage. I don't know if it counts, but it's worth a try. I guess. 
Oh, hang on. No, it's not taking damage at all. It's not yep, even going down. Oh, that's OP. They changed that. Yeah. It took one damage that time. All right. Uh, unless, unless that that particular, because that's a that's just the learn to dodge thing. Mm. Um, unless that didn't actually. Just do it in combat. We'll see. Oh yes, <laughs> indubitably. <clears throat> All right, back up this way then. Oh, it's not sprinting. Yeah, but the only thing that actually you know like shortens the time of your shroud are your abilities. That get you know yeah. swapped. Mm -hmm. right, let's have a look. Uh, fight this phoenixy thing. Right, let's hit. Oh come on! Let's see this this turret here. Let me see. I'm gonna aggro this. Oh, well, this is not gonna be a good example. Nah. It's not a good example. No, I got nothing. I don't have enough for it to, to work. This is how hard it is to take damage early game. <laughs> it's like really difficult to take damage. Oh, hang on. Like, I'm just going to everything, just destroying it. Yeah, I do take damage. Oh, you do? I'm guessing so. Hang on, let me make sure my health is all the way up first. Well, you gotta keep death shot up. Yeah. We'll do that. A couple of abilities will generate it faster too. Yeah. Hang on, how are you. TV is off, how are you playing a game? Sorry, my wife has got a control pad. She's like, oh! It's sorry. So you're gonna see from my, from my point of view if you guys have ever had the chance, right? So my missus. Was sitting there. Um, she's playing her, um, her the Nintendo Switch, playing Animal Crossing, but she's looking at a blank TV. I didn't know what was going on. I was so confused and realized that she's doing a, a thing that doesn't require too much brain power. In that she was just like, getting uh oh, she's got schizophrenia. Yeah, I thought oh, no, she's, yeah. she's finally no, snapped. I... No, what what had happened was I'd, she's like, uh, it's a, it's a, there's a I thing just, where you I keep, just best. I just tested it. You don't hit, you don't take damage. You don't at take all. damage. All right, that's good. That makes sense. That's um, that's but yeah, crazy. But she was actually doing um, a, a thing where you had to keep pressing a button and shooting stars coming across. She didn't think she need to pay attention to it. But I got to tell you, I was a little shocked to see her with the control pad looking with such intent at the off TV screen. I was a little <laughs> <Yeah>. nervous. <laughs> like, oh no! <laughs> She's finally snapped. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. No, honestly, like if you look back at the VOD, I, I'm sure there's a genuine look of shock in my face. I've <laughs> <Like, laughs> oh, almost done this quest. I'm almost level 6. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is it. There's gonna be more of this stuff here. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, because there's so many people here spawning trying to do these quests. Time for a promotion. Yep, I leveled up. Let's see what I get. Level 6 rewards. Increase in power, position, yep, all that stuff. Find equipment, offhand, weapon slot, unlock. Weapon skill 4, unlock. Remember what, you can get a position wood staff or a soft wood focus. <coughs> if I'm an agent of death, would I think the wooden staff would look better for now? Uh, uh, it's not a matter of what would it would, what would look better, but how you wanna play your necromancer because your like yeah. skills, your spells are tied to weapons you currently wield. All right, I'm gonna use a staff. See what that does. Yeah. Uh, staff is more like ranged. Oh, that's better. Future mark, chill blades, mark of blood, and necrotic grass. Ooh, that looks neat. And they why they target they target once? What does that even mean? There's a target around the buttons. Oh, 
let's see. Oh, because their area of effect spells. Oh, yep. dang, that's so much cooler. I like that. I dig that. Look, even look, when, when I cast the spells, right, the staff grows like an extra an unholy sight to it. That is neat. All right, I dig that, yeah. Okay, um, where do we go from here? Help Scar Strip Claw organize the wrecking yard. Ow, what the? Oh, you want to throw down, do ya? Oh, yeah. Be sure to actually claim rewards from your quest, from your dumb quest. Oh, are they like at the bottom right, is it? Yep. Except. Oh, these guys. Okay, yeah, what's this? Reward three karma boosters. Karma boosters, eh? What are they? The karma boosts. Just, oh, just it. karma. Just. I get the feeling I should have only used one. No. Oh, okay, that's where we're doing. Uh, I mean, if they stack, then use all of them. But. I don't think they stack. All right. Um, it's like a truck with that thing. Nice, nice. I dig it, and I think it's cool that the spells match with the weapon, as opposed to we've got these set skills. Like you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's good that it in this game your web your skills are based entirely on the weed pawns. Okay, let me check you. For Iron Legion. Ooh. I can get a gargoyle fossil. You you also can switch mid battle, like oh, uh, web oh. weapon builds. But I think I think you need to unlock that on later levels. I think you may be right. Yeah, because like for example, if you if if you on if you put like on the in the one hand you put a staff, mm -hmm. and on the other you put I don't know your great sword or something like that. Uh, and then you just, you know, can mid-battle switch between them, making crazy combos. Oh, nice. Wait, so you can even go full Gandalf and have a staff in one hand and a sword in the other? Well, not literally, but you can have, like, a full build around the, for example, great sword, and then whole build around the staff and you switch mid-combat on higher levels when you customize everything to your liking. Ah. Oh, hang on. I've got another um, item. I think I'm opening up the homespun trousers. Except. Alright, now I have pants to match my look. Na 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 na. He's got the look. Except my shoes are still green. <laughs> That's all good. Uh, all right, <coughs> so we've got to maintain the yard. This is the last one of these quest chains. We'll look at things. Junk file. I'm gonna resurrect you. Come to life. I'm using my power of necromancy to bring you to life. Oi, there's an ooze here, hey? Just check something real quick. Just gonna revive this guy here. <coughs> okay, now you're alive. Which one slows them down? Chill days. There we go. Oh, 
You wanna try and do world boss? Which a world boss? Ooh, maybe. Uh, there's one. There's one spawning in. 14 minutes. I can fast travel there, and you can use my location to like get to that area. All right. Is it like on this plane? Yeah. Uh, just it's not on the. It's not on this one, but you can travel to the Grove, which is kind of like Silvari main city, and it's near that area. I'm level 6 still. Well, let me transfer out of here to level, to level, to level 10 or something, or...? The, no, the, the, like, the world bosses are huge bosses that uh, take for around 50 or so, so players to take it down. So, shit ton of people gather there and you'll get a lot of XP there, just for participating. I just fell off a relatively short height and died. That's uh, oh. annoying. <laughs> <coughs> Return yeah, to like, waypoint. Uh, Which waypoint would that be? Where is the nearby event? Let me see. The uh, noble, the noble uh, soul is healing me. Oh, someone's reviving me from the dead. Yeah, people are great in this game. They just. No. That's fantastic. Kill you for 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 no re for no re reason, just because <laughs> they can. It speaks volumes about the community. So. Yeah. All right. How do we uh, get to where you are? Wait, wait. I first need to fast travel there. Mm. Okay. Um, being summoned then I'm go I, I'm I am going to tr try and ping you in, in like in the chat the uh, the waypoint where you can uh, pass the like the nearest one since you haven't discovered anything yet yeah then you get oh man it's gonna be hard there. Oh, let's see uh, Party and uh, right. uh, sorry about that. If you were talking to me, I wasn't here. Oh, we won't. <laughs> oh, <zing. clears throat> oh, there's a nearby event, apparently. Yeah, my wife can't join us because um, I think we can't create new characters right now. That every time we try to make a new character, a uh, new account, sorry, their website says there was an unspecified error. You're kidding. Uh, I think it's just a server issue going on. Yeah, I've been attacked by two guys this whole time. I still haven't died. Okay. Oh my so. god. Not even half health. Stupid. Oh, can you hear me? So, let's see. Rely on iron, not false gods. Okay. Okay, uh, can you fast travel to the way point there? Um, should it be this blurry? It's it's in the it's in the <laughs> chat. Look, look at look at the yeah, chat. I, I pinged I, it. I, let me. I click on it. You're probably still downloading files, is all. No, no, hang on. It's it's um. Yeah, I am still downloading files, I think. Nah, even like if I wanted to click on it, it won't let me. It's all like scribbled out. No, no, hold on, hold on. It's loading. Yeah, probably just downloading. Shit, never mind then. Uh, Alright, it's all good in the hood. You do what you have to do. I'm gonna go to that scout to get new quests for the area. And every time I go that way. We've got a clear flame legion from the yak. Oi! Do I 
anything for me, guys? No, you don't. Go clear one more Flame Legion guy. Oh, this music's from Guild Wars 1. The nostalgia. Okay. Well, if you, if you still want to try and to make it there, I think you still have like around 10 minutes or so before the boss spawns. It's gonna take forever and a day. I don't even think I'm gonna leave the right. area. You get into the world, boss. What he wants to do, yeah. yeah. Yeah, good luck. Okay, I think, um... Yeah, eight minutes. Ah, well. No, no, wait, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, eight minutes. I'm not sure if, um... Hmm. You speak with the scout. And it's pointing to the scout. Yeah, there's no... No way you can get here. Like, you're on the... Oh, completely, yeah. Completely, like, east, eastern side of the... Of the... <coughs> Which bus is it? Old map. Which bus are you trying to go to? Uh, in Wishmire Swamp, it's um, I think it's a war, war boss. Oh, yeah. I wanted me to go speak to a scout that's what behind me. But oh, it's probably up that way, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, this guy's there. Oh my god. Okay. That's where I went wrong. Okay, I'm level 6 now, so maybe I can actually... I can change the dice. On this guy. Change the dice on this guy. Need to change what the color of everything is now. Change the die on this guy. How do I change the die when the colors? Oh my god. Oh, hero wardrobe. Dies. All the dies are locked. All the dies are locked. All the dies are locked. Yeah, I need to go to the dies, not the wardrobe. Yeah. Do I click? Do I click die? And then what? Do I click? Click. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Uh, I yeah, just realized yeah. you paint it like that. I see. And now, let's see. Green. Ugh, what an ugly green. Ugh. It's a shame you can't change the color of your spells. Ah, uh, I'm okay with that. It sort of keeps the, um, you know, the, the class... Keeps it, you know, you know what I mean. Yep, but, uh, I know what you mean. Lie. There we go. <clears throat> you know what it doesn't look like? You can't afford the right color shoes. When do you learn to summon beasts? When did you learn, Holloman? You remember what level? Um. It'll be whenever you I, unlock I, a I, um, utility skill. And the, yeah, I actually don't remember which level specifically was it. Mm. <clears throat> but it shouldn't be like. Should we go low? It should be 11. See if you can open up uh, training. Uh, training menu. Press H. Go to build. That's where I would say. Nope. Training menu. Now you can't open it up until you get to level 11. 
Okay, so yeah, it's 11. So H equals training? Don't worry about it. I just said you can't open it until you get to 11. Oh, yeah. Oh, found it. Yeah. We, we, yeah, that, that's, that's not the all of your life. This land has been ravaged by humans for centuries. We intend to reclaim it from their ghosts and all of your abilities. These hills are treacherous, so get ready to do your part for the legions. You are an important cog in the machine. So there's two missions here, and apparently, as far as I understand, the humans took over the Char land. The Char were like, oi! And then they took it back, I guess. Um, the Pretty areas much. you're in are actually the original areas of Guild Wars 1. Oh, really? And then the Char took it back. Well, they actually just destroyed it. Well, it looks like his spell travels through as well. So, like, yeah, if, if you, that's really handy. That makes a lot of sense. It travels through and it causes impact. That's really handy. Ferris waypoint. Ferris waypoint. Okay. There's a shit ton of people here. <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> I just picked up a wine bottle. Does it mean I get the glass of fella? Uh, yes. Oh my god, a glass of fella. Hey, oh no, and, and, I, and I shanked him. Yep. And then <laughs> you, can do, you can break it and then actually does it. I broke it on the guy and then on his head and then I just actually started to, 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 I stabbed him with it and then I pulled out my stuff and started casting spells. So you're gonna have a proper bar fight in here. Actually, one of the original mini games that was planned was a bar fight, and oh, wow. for the years that I played, it was never implemented. I'd be very interested to see if it actually exists now. Oh, I don't think it. I don't know if it does. For me, though, like I, I feel like it's in the same category as you'll get to name your ship in Sea of Thieves. No. You get me? There's actually a lot of mini games in this game. Oh, really? Okay. What's what's one of the winning games you think I'll be able to I'll enjoy? Um, remember now, a lot, there's a lot of seasonal ones as well. Um, there's a lot of jump puzzles. You probably won't enjoy those. Jumping puzzles are amazing. I love jump puzzles, but um, <laughs> what do you mean jump I've puzzles? Done, Jump puzzles. You have to you have to navigate you to parkour basically. Parkour! Basically hardcore parkour, yeah. Parkour! I would, there's I lots would. there's lots of parkour challenges in different areas of the map and they're usually in little secret areas and stuff like that. You're right, it would make me cross. Oh, it made me cross and I love them. <laughs> uh, your lads know me too well anyway. Oh, 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 okay, that one's dead. And there we go. I'm like, I haven't seen this many people in this game for so long, and I remember that they just released a new expansion. Ah. Uh, Man, it's not because of an expansion, honestly, to tell you the truth. The game is I'm usually surprised. very pop pop populated, yeah. I find that surprising, although. Everybody does. Find, yeah, I find that surprising. Well, we have to consider as well that. <laughs> For some it's reason or another, it, it's mostly because this game is filled with uh, evolved refugees. Evolved refugees? No, evolved like all the workers. Refugees. So did you say war refugees? Well, wow. war refugees. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. It would be. You mean I don't have to pay 15 bucks a month to play an MMO? For its full extent? I mean, that's the same thing with um, Star Wars The Old Republic as well. But the thing about Star Wars The Old Republic is... Look, hey, look. So, the main story of the game, 
right? It's actually quite brilliant, depending on the class that you pick. And after you do your class story, it's a it's a shared story um, across all the classes, right? So it gets you, it builds up the character that you're using to uh, to really make you feel like a hero before putting you into a, another situation, yeah? But a hero based on its own story, so it feels, um, I guess... It was kind of that as well, it, pulling yeah. off the that extent. So, that being said, to continue with the main story, at some points you, could, you only could raid, which is what most... Um, most of MMOs work like that, but the thing is, you got to be in a guild. You got to be in a guild at the same time as everybody else is in your region, and you got to be um, very, you know, willing enough to raid to progress with the story. Yeah. Now, if you're a parent, doesn't have that kind of time. There's no like um, raid finder where you can just pick a an easy to join raid. I mean, there is, but the problem with that is, it's timed. So one day your your um the, the the looking for raid function will have this this thing or will have that thing etc. You know what I mean? Like you couldn't do in order the ones that you wanted unless you were in a guild that were helping you do them in the order of the way you wanted them to. Weapon swapping is soon. I think I'll get weapon swapping in the next level. I'm gonna go this way now to discover Baronin's Vaults. I'll just revive you. Boy, starting. <laughs> My dude just goes, discover the power of me! <laughs> uh. Discover the power of me? Yeah, something like, discover the power of me, because I level up. Rush. Yeah. I think my guy says something stupid like I've retained the awesome. What does that even mean? Uh, attain the awesome is when you get a challenge uh, pop up. You achieve something, like a, one of the many challenges in the game. You killed 10 of something. Yeah. Oh. Uh, this voice lands for me. Actually, boy? this game spoiled me in terms of um, quests and stuff. Here we are. Now I I can't read quests in games. Yeah. I have to. Oh. I'm like just. just yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I can't read quests anymore. I skip it. This game, at least, there's pretty much no reading. Okay, are we gonna learn? Is they glitched out? Oh boy, I found myself in an event. <coughs> yeah, that happens. I didn't want to be in an event. Yeah, that happens. In the words of every Latino American. Por que? Or Australian Latino. Latinos in general. Oh, oh, yeah. You want to throw down Earth Elemental? Oh my god, they hit like buses. A good thing that I... Don't hurt game yeah. heal. No. Don't hit no buses at all. I'm not in trouble oh, whatsoever. No. Oh, load stone. I mean it does get more dangerous than at least make the starter area it's a bit more dangerous. <coughs> oh yeah, for sure. Where do I give the lodestones to? Just for a look. Okay. It's usually an indicator on the map. A little bucket with an arrow pointing in it. Indicator <coughs> with a bucket. Oh yeah, I see. I'm done with with the 
Wall boss? Yeah. Is he worth his weight in gold? Okay. We're looking good. Uh, if you have any more, drop them off with me as soon as possible. Let's see what I actually get from it. Okay. I mean, you mostly do them for, like, for experience. Mm. When you're like this high level. seconds the world event will finish we'll see where it gets me thinks in the put this over in your like shoelaces and you'll still get gold participation wait what do you mean well events were supposed to have a grade of participation and the higher level participators would get more reward XP. I remember yeah. that yeah but you could just like trip over your shoelaces nice and get job. gold participation. I don't, it's hard now. to get bronze. I just got gold. Yeah, see? And I get, got me a bead of liquid karma. Yeah, it's just a consumable karma item. Depending on how crazy you are with karma, you can um, either stock them up and use karma boosters and then use them. But I'm just going to use them as I go. The only time, the only time I would get bronze is if I'm just uh, like just walk past. Passing, yeah, <laughs> pass, passing by, not even doing an event. He's like, "Hey, how you doing?" It's happened to be happening. Okay, like, you happen to be in the same vicinity as someone else doing the event, and like, you there, Jim? Damn, you what walked, a hero! Look at this guy. What a legend. He walked right past that enemy while Bob was getting absolutely murdered and muzzled. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. This is a babysitting event. I think this is babysitting event. Oh my god. Well, what's a babysitting event? What? How does that I have look to like? I, I have to babysit cops. Come, come look at this. Where are you? Where, where are you? Oh, come here. But at the event, oh, there you are. Babysitting. So wait, you, you don't you don't actually mean that you're literally yes. watching yes. a child? Yes. Oh my god. I actually hate the events where you have to shape shift into something to do something. I'm like, I'm not a freaking druid. There's so many of them. That brings like memories. That brings like a lot of memories. Oh, that's right, they fire mortars at the harpies. Oh man, I remember this. I don't ever remember getting far enough to summon uh, my own pet though. What? Yeah, yeah, I, this, this, this quest, I remember it. It's coming back to me now. Even the music, the sound effects, and all that stuff. Summon. I really. It's a typical. I'm, I'm, I'm about to talk world versus world versus world. Well. Yeah. Uh, I really like it from a technology standpoint. Uh, from a game perspective, that's fun. Like yeah. three huge clouds of actual players fighting over strategic points and maps and whatever, and you know, spending currency to make you know, siege weaponry and all that junk. Yeah. It's a big Zerg fight. <laughs> it's really annoying. Basically, if you want to win World v World, you just follow the biggest crowd, and it's just become, it's becomes a oh, PC yeah. benchmarking tool. Really? I can imagine. But that's the thing, though. It's awesome if you've got, like, a piece of a machine. Right? Really? But it, even then, you're just following a cloud around and, and hitting objectives until they But it can be a bit of a, a shit show if you're running yeah, and, out, and, out and of and potato. Sometimes, sometimes there's so much people that you don't even know if you're kitten. Yeah, you're just like, what, what am I doing? <laughs> it's just ridiculous sometimes. 
But in the, the premise of it, I really enjoy. Uh, in practice, that's okay. Uh, you have to be really into that sort of thing, and you have to be more into the fact that your your team is winning than the actual gameplay. Plus, in uh, Good Wars 1 that I really wish that they put in 2, which they didn't. Ritualist. Probably my favourite. Um, it's kind of a... it's not quite a necromancer. Instead of summoning undead, they summon spirits. And the spirit oh, is there the essentially... Revenant. Well, the Revenant is actually kind of the closest thing to the Ritualist, actually. Wait, what game was that? Is it still this one? It was 1. 1. So, yeah, Good Wars 1 has the Ritualist. I think the Revenant is essentially the, the what they did to, for people who like Ritualists. Um, yeah, come to think of it. Yeah, because the, the Ritualist used to have these Ashes skills where you held the Ashes of a hero and get different abilities or whatever. Um, it's oh, kind yeah. of what the Revenant does. That's literally what the Revenant does. It yeah, summons... and Ritualists had blindfolds as well, so... <laughs> I was one outstanding Where do I sell my shit to? I gotta find someone that can buy my crap. They lost even though they had air superiority. Pitiful. We should clean the range before the buzzards Yeah, to tell you the truth, I don't really like Revenant. I don't like Revenant either, which is a shame because I really like Ritualists. <laughs> they were essentially, um, you could almost call them tower defense. You could summon, like, basically spirit turrets. Good. Oh, oh I finally good. found enemies that hurt. Oh yeah? How though? Like emotionally or <laughs> Yeah, they they called me ugly. Ah oh, no but I be Hang on. You um am I about to fuck you? Jesus you Christ, this is like real real babysitting you lasts for fucking ages. Okay, so here I'm supposed to the big ghosts. This is safety patrols, rescue down soldiers and destroy escalating Frozen artifacts more. as well. Give me that first and more event. <coughs> what was that game where you had like realms and stuff like that? That were trying to attack the oh, yeah. oh, cool. It's a sim similar concept to um, Guild Wars, right? In that this random world events that pop up. Rift! That's it, I remember Rift now. Rift is what you yeah. Yeah, Rift was very similar. And Rift was cool for like 11 minutes though. Because... <laughs> I never I never played it. Well, Look, I, if a game has to market oh, itself with cool. chicks running around in underwear, I already don't have respect for it. That wasn't what was what drew me to it. I was like, okay, apparently the gameplay is supposed to be more fluid than where... I guess all the ads, right? And it was fine, and I, I really dug the whole world events thing that happened at random. But they also happened too frequently, in my opinion. And that all I'm trying to do is this friggin' quest, yeah? And halfway through the quest, <laughs> a rift will spawn on me. Then I have to deal with the rift and everyone else in the area, which is fine when everyone is playing with you right and it can get pretty intense which is cool but if a high level rift spawns on your ass and you're in the middle of a fight and it's just you and no one else is there with you because no one else is playing rift anymore <laughs> it is a oh my god like i was look i'm not gonna lie i was having a lot of fun right i was having the time of my life I'm doing a world event right now, and yeah. I can't even get things before they die. And there's oh. only a couple of people. Oh dang. Well, it's probably about 10 minutes. Oh, 
your veins, mate. Go on. Oh, death. Is that increasing? Oh, not death. Yeah. It's like literally my shtick now. You there. Pop down. I think I will put Guild Wars 2 in my regular rotation. It's chill enough. Um, and it's a good game. There's a lot to do. Oh, yeah. There's the legendary weapons if you ever want to be introduced to the grind. Oh yes, the grind. Back in the, in the original game, well, to get um, le legendary weapons, <laughs> they're not even the the highest tier. Yeah. Oh, well, that's new. Yeah. Now it's ascended. Ascended we just, tier. Is... We just beat the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we just that's, triggered that's the, the grind. That's the grind one. Yeah, ascended stuff and fractals and all that junk. What? Um, the um, the map event for the non-starter area was just triggered and immediately untriggered. <laughs> what? GG. Yeah. Wow, that's so weird. We, we, we didn't we didn't get to do the the map event, the big the big world boss. It just untriggered. Oh yeah, that that won't happen to me one time. Uh, I have no idea why. Well, at least, you know, you weren't playing Spore yesterday, and um, every time you no, got that. far, <laughs> it crashes, <laughs> and then it doesn't save where you left off. Yeah, that was it, a little... I'm starting to get good at it, you know? Everything was, was going swell, I had a pack, I was ganging up on people, you know? I felt like a real mobster. <laughs> but, I kept friggin' dying. But you know what? I've actually been enjoying Spore. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't... You, I didn't think I would. Because, well look, to be fair, I think... I was much younger when I first played it and I was expecting more from it. Oh, yeah. I, I was watching all of the beta videos and stuff. I was yeah, me too. With it. Like, oh, so have you watched the beta videos for Spore Cold Moon? Like when they were coming first coming out with the game? No. So, they were supposed to have an underwater um, civilization stage as well too. So you, you didn't... Oh, really? You, yeah, so you could choose to either go onto land and evolve that way or become Atlantean and, and stay as an underwater race. Yeah, because that's one... one my one gripe with the, with the sport that they didn't include that. Yeah. So, There's a lot. In fact, the Adam stage got hugely dumped down. Oh, it really did. Like... So it was like they had this idea for the game and then marketing, the marketing department went, EA, hey. EA destroyed it. Okay. It was all EA. They wanted a faster release. And I believe, um, what was his name? Will. The, the Will, what's his name? The guy, the guy who made Maxis. Yeah. Um, quit. Did he quit because of so, that? I think, so. well, I think it was part of it. Yeah, he quit. It was basically his idea. And he didn't like where they were taking it, and he quit. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And then they just ran with it anyway, because, you know, of course you would have to. What the hell is that? Um, and then it wasn't as good as he originally planned. <coughs> That's so, so sad. I know. I was really hyped for Spore, and uh, it was a bit of a flop. I still played the shit out of it. Um, but it could have been so much better. And then they made the Galactic Adventures expansion where you could like make levels and stuff and I was like, I ah, just don't know. <laughs> so I, I just equipped two things that I got. Have a look at my stream, but they're in this slot down here. Is this like alternate weapons? Oh, they're your underwater stuff? weapons. They're your underwater stuff. Underwater? So you need to have a rebreather. Yeah. Oh, you so you've got that. a whole other set of abilities underwater. And because there's fewer weapons, uh, all of the underwater abilities are actually pretty OP. Oh, nice. Very I mean, nice. depending on your build, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it's slightly more difficult to build around underwater combat. It's, I wouldn't, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Like in, in the example of Guardian, for instance, there's only two underwater weapons, so every Guardian has every underwater skill because you just weapon swap both. There's no, there's no reason to choose otherwise. Reaper's Mark does damage and fear. Let's, let's try something here. I want to see what it does here. Ready? 
Oh, it just made him bail. Oh. No, Necro stuff is great. I like Necro stuff. Just make bombs. A bunch of different bombs. Just place them everywhere. Oh, man. I used to... I used to yeah, they're really good. They're so good. <laughs> you can, you, what you can do is you line them up before the fight. So yeah. you like, you place, a, place a bunch of different marks yeah. down and then pull them with the number one ability and then they just walk over all your bombs like a tower defense. Okay. So give it a try with that. Uh, I really like Necro stuff. Plus it yeah, does usually, the whole, the whole suck. Yeah, yeah, I usually, I usually start with everything, like uh, all of the sigils or whatnot from, from the staff at exactly the same spot. Yeah, and just bomb them. Wow. I really dig that. That's really cool. Oh, like, I think so... I think X X works really well with Necro 2 from memory. I can't remember what I used to do. It's pretty I think I did X. X is the first one though that you get with the Necromancer yeah, as a I like it because I, I, I think I use X or Fan and Dagger and then also Staff. I think that's what I used. used so what what I've noticed how they they do the animation style for the um for the axe is you see him like he throws these axes and they're enchanted with like this dark miasma that's hanging around it while it's smacking them up. Well, axe is like a short range weapon. Yeah. Not melee though, which no. is weird. Yeah, that's that's how they do it. It's like Gimli's throwing axes. Yeah, sure. to complete um, nearby events. It's just telling me where to go. Uh, uh, black sheep, have you any? Will kill a veteran check, lava check, shaman. Check, check out this eldritch horror that's like flying oh my around God. me. Oh god! Look at this thing. Jeez. That is my. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's uh, definitely an eldritch horror. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, it has tentacles, it could be Lovecraftian, but no, no, looking at the rest of it, it's Eldritch and a half. It doesn't even have any eyes, it's just a floating rib that's, cage. I, I would say that's my fridge, basically. It, steal, it, steals, it steals life from enemies and life force and sends it back to me. Oh, it's, yeah, it's the heal minion, it's really good. That's like, I'm just looking at it, like, it's just a floating rib cage with guts in it. It's actually really good for minion master builds, because it's yep. your heal skill. It's actually the heal skill is a minion master, uh, a minion skill. It used to be the first one, maybe it's not anymore. Yeah, it is. It, it, it is, like... Oh, that's, uh, that's, oh that's yeah, no, the... Wombat's using it too, I see. Yeah. Which one? Or is he? He's, maybe I'm no, no, that, that, that's, that's me using it, but that's the first one you'll get in that, like, stream. Which one? Oh, he saw it. Mm. What's your heal I mean, skill? He... Uh, it's uh, let's see, consume conditions. You turn oh, your okay. conditions into health. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it used to be the bone fiend or what it was called. It was the, the first heal skill you get. Oh. <coughs> yeah. All necros were walking around with a little ribcage pet in their starter areas. <laughs> So, do I get my first pet level 10 by the look of things? Well, they're not really pets, they're just a toggleable ability, basically. Yeah. Okay. And you can explode them for quick heal. Yeah, the heal one you can, but all the other summonable ones have a different toggle ability that you can make them do. Like, you can make the range guys do the mobilizer thing, you can make the flesh golem elite one do a charge. I think you can just make the little guys explode. Damage. Oh, hang on, we've got a killing flame legion in this area anyway, so I may as well just do that. I found a black lion chest. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I just need one more flame legion um, pendejo. I also have the keys. So let's see, what do I get? Oh, there we go, got him. Wait, what? What's this? Mm -hmm. where, where, where did you go? Let's have a look on the map. Oh, you're down that way. The time that you wasted is... Hang on, let me just grab this pile of glittering dust. You said you found a chest, eh? 
Yeah, hold on, I'm just unlocking stuff. Uh... Mm. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm guessing the chest is up this way somewhere. No, no, no. Yeah. I got the chest, but in my inventory, I got it. Oh, okay, yeah. I see what you mean. Uh, let's see. Uh... Oh, boy, this is my health. Get out, get out, get out. Run. Oh good, that worked. Almost died then guys, you should leave. Yeah, you probably yes. wouldn't, let's be honest. I would, yeah. <laughs> Fresh. 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 Um. Uh, so what you want to do, what you want to do with those Wombat, if it's how I remember, mm. one of those abilities, one of those um, staff abilities puts a field down, and then another one is a blast finisher. So, so I got the staff, staff skin. Yeah. I'm pretty sure one of them's a field, right? Like a like a dark field or something like that. When it gets it's triggered. Like, you know, chill blades, mark of blood. I think there might be more later on, I think. No. You can't change them, they're always the same. It's always those, those four, is it? Yep, you can't change your weapon skills. Which unless you change weapon. <laughs> um, so, I'm pretty sure one of the staff abilities puts down a little field when it's triggered. And then if you make... I mean, all of them put a field. Well, all of them have a range. But once they're triggered, I think one of them actually puts like a dark field down. And you can do a blast finisher in a dark field that does like an AoE effect of some sort, in addition to this, the ability that it already oh, really? does. And, and every skill interacts like that, like Guardian is just oozing in light fields, and um, finishes in light fields remove conditions or shorten condition damage, re reduce condition damage. Um, so just being around people using abilities in their fields is beneficial no matter what. Right. But they're called combos, there's different combo effects. So for instance, if I put down a light field and then use a hammer Soldiers blast, a hammer skill that's also a blast finisher, our I do like the AOE, so um, set up a fighting pit to test our soldiers uh, against the region. light aura or something like that, or a AOE something, they might, they might have changed it. Maybe. But if I spin, if I do a, a whirl finisher in a light field, I just remove conditions from the people around me, stuff like that, in addition to what the skill already does. Ah, that's pretty neat. Oh boy. Exhaustion is real. Uh, what I'm gonna do, because I did call it this evening, I'm gonna adjust my schedule next week. Um, Cold Moon, you still available only on, on Thursdays and Fridays, right? Sorry, can you repeat that? Are you, you're only available Thursdays and Fridays, yeah? Uh, yeah. Because I'm thinking, what I'll do, um, I'm still gonna keep variety throughout Fridays, but I'm gonna put Guild Wars on my, in my Thursday slot. And then just move some things around um, as well. Because yeah. um, I actually have a lot of fun playing it. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait for Helldivers, by the way. Helldivers? Yes. Actually, what am I doing next week, Friday? And this Helldivers. is the skin I got from the from the chest. Oh, show me. The staff. Look at, ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Is that cool? oh, I'm, a, I'm a little annoyed I can't get my mane over here, but whatever. <coughs> I just realized you're wearing sunglasses. Yep. Oh my god. And you got this like medieval friggin' like shoulder pad, this dark robe, this um. With Ray Bans. Ar <laughs> arcade, yeah, arcade enchanted rod with Ray Bans. Are they genuine? Are, you, are they genuine Ray Bans, or are they the Ray Bans people put up on Genuine Facebook? <laughs> like, you want to laugh? So after, 
after all this time, my yeah. wife has now been able to make a character. <laughs> and maybe next week. Oh, definitely next week, Thursday. 100%. Oh, is Chronomancer a thing now? Chronomancer? Is what? Is, is what a thing? Chronomancer. Chronomancer. Time Mage. Is that a thing now? I just saw a Mesmer run past. Like, uh, it's probably a specialty of the Mesmer. Because <coughs> I just saw like a whole big time thing. Uh, and um, to me, because I followed this game quite extensively. When it's I been mean, developed. they create like teleports, but. Yeah, I yeah, that's what... Mesmer. But like, I just saw like a time tick, a ticking time ability. Huh. Um, and I'm like, oh, one of the original class designs that didn't make it into the game was Chronomancer. So now I'm like, oh, did they actually sneak it in so as a Mesmer specialization? Maybe, it's possible. I, I actually, I, I don't know. Like, I never played Mesmer. I've played everything, but um, I generally go back to Warrior and um, Guardian. It's your shtick. It sure is. I always find myself, no matter what other class I play, I always find myself gravitating, to, gravitating towards um, edgy uh, bullcrap. Edgy bullcrap or um, mastermind kind of deal. It's people that play the game for you? Oh, yeah. Like, you know, when I. Um, <laughs> oh, I yeah. a bunch that, of robots. That, yeah, that's my shtick. Then you're gonna love, uh, like, the Necromancer. Necromancer because, yes. <laughs> because you can just create, like, a minion build and AFK oh, while your minions oh, do the fighting for you. I don't know if you guys saw. I am in, in City of Heroes. I ended up getting the Assault Bot, the last robot. Um, before the oh, upgrade. No, I didn't see that. Oh no, my that. gosh, that thing melts faces. Like, I'm just watching it rock up to an enemy, and then just do it, shoot a massive laser beam at one, turn around, flamethrower the other, another <laughs> enemy runs up towards it, he turns around and just swings his arm, smacks him out cold, and I'm just sitting there like, I, I didn't even get I to gotta, fire a shot. <laughs> I gotta say, the, the, the physics in City of Heroes is so satisfying. Mm. I'm just, just watching sending, it sending dudes flying <laughs> and they're ragdolling. Oh, oh man, that's yeah, good. So good. But it's I also, I but I also, oh, um, should. Um, they're on every Mondays. Um, I, I enjoy um, Guild Wars for its, like the fact that the weapons give you the abilities. And you don't have to sit there and learn a new skill or spell or things like that. Every I time. was originally against. I was originally against the weapon idea, um, but it grew on me. Yeah, it did. Like, it me too. Seriously, you, you just have... You... As a necromancer, I think it's really cool that these guys are summoning undead um, pets instead of humans and zombies. Although, I'm guessing you can summon them at some point. Uh, uh no, not really. Not it's really, just always no. undead abominations. Fleshy uh, yeah. stitched together. Gross. Eldritch horrors. Yeah, Lovecraftian, yeah. Eldritch and Lovecraftian in nature. Love it. Okay, um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna have to call it tonight. Um, with that being said, everybody, thank you so very much for joining me. This has actually been a, a, a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, don't forget yeah. to hit that follow and subscribe button. Um, also, Pretzel Rocks, that is the music you're hearing in the background. Don't forget to hit the um, hit that link in my About section. Um, ooh, Discord server, is it working? I've got to fix that because the button's not working for it anymore. Oh well, there we go. Uh, Discord server, um, go there for Discord related stuff, um, have fun, etc. Game ideas, memes, things like that, share it there, that's the place you want to go. And for all of my VODs, effective on the eight, from the 18th of um, February 2022, are being loaded onto YouTube, so they don't disappear for your viewing pressure. So if you want to see how terrible I've been since February 18, um, yeah, that's where you want to go. Uh, Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me uh, in this journey. I am Iron Wombat. This is Iron Wombat Gaming saying bye for now. Thanks to Cold Moon and Silver. You take care guys. Be safe. Peace out. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe for more content. See you next time.
Thank you. 